Hello YouTube, I'm here from Blue Needle Studios and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to color grade it in Camera Raw in Photoshop. So the first thing that you need to do is have your photos. I had to convert mine to GNG uh, because they're normally in a different file type but you probably won't have to do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is select my two photos that I'm going to be color grading today with you guys just to just so that I can spend a good amount of time on both of them and not have to rush so I'm going to right hand click go open with and Adobe Photoshop CS5 and so this will open up camera raw and this is where we're going to be editing our photos um, so it's a really nice way to edit your photos uh, it allows a great interface uh, a bit more specialized for photography than the normal Photoshop interface so um, you can of course use Photoshop normally but camera raw is a great application so as you can see I've got this photo here and I've also got this photo here. They're very different photos. Uh, I know that they're not perfectly in focus and I know that they're not perfect photos but they'll definitely serve their purpose well and we will definitely be able to do some great grading with this. So we've got our tools up here. I'm just going through a few things in case you haven't seen this before but I'm going to assume some basic knowledge and then here you've got all your exposure this is the main panel that we'll be using and then you've got all sorts of really advanced uh, super handy options that you can use a lot of these are really advanced and you'll never touch on them uh, but some of the more advanced ones you may end up using all the time okay so to start off we need to make sure that our color temperature is right so for instance if we had a photo like this which is quite cold we may want to make it a bit more yellow just to bring some warmth in and you can see that although it does look graded and you can tell um, or if we wanted to make it really cold and dark looking we can do this you don't want to stretch it too far it'll start to look super artificial but I think that if we just add in just this bit of warmth I think that looks really nice so that's what the temperature is now if we come back to here uh, tint is kind of similar to temperature uh, it still changes the color but it's different it's with magentas and greens rather than blue and oranges um, well blue and yellows so what we want to do is change this we can see what it looks like as we drag it if we put in some more magenta you can see the colors are really changing if we put in some green I usually like to um if we have our normal photo here I usually like to bump up the magentas in a uh, in a photo which is the majority of it is green I think that it gives a nice effect um, but it's all up to you all of this is really just on personal opinion and how you want your photos to look you might want it very natural only just bumping up a few things slightly or you may want an extremely stylized look with everything completely changed so then we're going to come into exposure just like as if it's in our camera uh, that's the beauty of shooting in raw um, the way that we can change things after the shot um, so if we want to bump up the exposure we can I don't want it up too much here's normal yeah I might leave it like this I think that it looks good just with a little bit of added brightness okay and then we've got recovery which is um it's basically just to make sure that you don't have any bits that are too bright or too dark uh, it doesn't actually change too much you don't see an awful amount um, then there's the fill light to bring up shadows so just to demonstrate if I turn this right up all of my shadows come up I might just leave it like this so you can tell that I'm looking for a really bright kind of look uh, we can turn up the blacks if we want I wouldn't mind to do that we can bring them right up and there we go this is looking quite nice so you can tell that this is looking quite stylized I might turn it down just a bit but I think that this is really adding another dimension to this image so with the brightness I might take it down just a little uh, just to keep it from being too in your face Lee bright I uh, might turn up bump up the contrast just a bit in fact I might bump the contrast right up and turn our blacks down a bit there we go so I'm just trying to get it exactly how I like it and we've got clarity which just enhances the definition of your photo um, it does look a little weird sometimes so I usually try and keep it uh, pretty close to normal and then of course we've got the vibrance and saturation uh, one thing that I like to do which I think that's just um you know I don't really know how to explain it but I just think that it adds another uh, factor to your image I like to turn down the saturation and then turn up the vibrance I just think that for some reason that looks pretty nice okay so I reckon that this photo is looking really great uh, we could crop it if we wanted to 
Um, I don't really feel like it. We could try, oh, just so that we can see it, I might turn this into a vertical image. I'm not sure what kind of size it would be. If we bring this over. Now, how do we actually, sorry, I'm not sure how we actually um, execute this. Uh, and then we, if we come back into the hand, yep, that will do it. You can probably press enter or something like that. So this actually, you know what? I really like it as a vertical image. Uh, I can keep, I may save it as a horizontal one too, but I think that like this, it looks beautiful. Okay, so let's move on to the next photo. Uh, this is a very different photo, so I'm going to be doing some very different things with it, which is very exciting. So in this one, I think it's got a little too much magenta, especially in the tree down the back. So I'm going to turn up the greens. Not too much though, because I don't want it to look too uh, funny. I'll turn up the exposure, bump it up a fair bit. I want this to be a nice, bright, happy image, even though it was taken on quite a cloudy day. I'm going to turn up the fill light a bit. I am going to turn the brightness up a tad. Maybe I'll turn the exposure back down just a little. And then I'm going to bump the contrast right up. And so this should really help our image. I'm going to bump the clarity right up. Uh, not too much though because you can see that we're getting some really strong black lines um, and actually I'll just bump both the vibrance and the saturation up a bit uh, the saturation does much more than the vibrance so I don't want to bump the saturation up too much but the vibrance I'm not scared to go pretty high um, now let's think about cropping I think that this image could just be nice uh, just like here yep this is looking really nice Let's try hitting enter. Again, okay, hitting enter does work. So I reckon that this image looks really nice, um, just like the other one. And so I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to use Adobe Camera Raw 6. Um, if we wanted to, of course, we can just press save image and save it uh, really simply. Uh, we can choose what file type it is. Uh, so if we wanted to save it as a JPEG, we can just call it, I'm not sure what to call it, uh, garden photo. Uh, we can save it in the same location and just press save and just like that you've done a lot of color grading to your image i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i may do a more advanced one covering uh, some of the really advanced settings but this is all you really need to know and you can get some amazing uh, enhancements from this so thanks very much for watching these videos take me a long time to make so any feedback is hugely appreciated subscribe if you want more photoshop tutorials and check out my other photoshop series where i'm doing some basic tutorials as well as things like green screening and i'm planning to get into some really cool stuff like matte painting later on so again thanks for watching and i'll see you later bye